Multimedia. I'm Natish Kulabakoli and today we're going to be learning how to estimate sums. Objective. Today we're going to learn how to estimate sums of an equation. Let's get started. Problem 1. What is 83 minus 27? Estimate. So basically what we do here is we round to the nearest 10 for like 27 we would round to 30 because it's only 3 27 is only 3 away from 30 because we have 28 and 29 and then 30 and it's 7 away from 20 because we have 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21 and 20 so you round to 30 because it's closer and you do the th same thing for 83. 83 becomes 80 because 83 is only 3 away from 80 and 7 away from 90. And that makes this problem a lot easier. 80 minus 30 would be 50. So the answer is approximately 50 because you have to estimate. So it's pr around 50. Moving on to problem two. Problem two, what is 398 minus 132? Estimate. So it gets a bit harder, but it's still the same gist. Um, you could estimate a bit more precise and do one like 130 to 400. You could do that or you could do just rounding to the hundreds and if you want to estimate you at least want to be somewhat precise so it would be more reasonable to do this and of course 398 is only 2 away from 400 98 from 300 132 is only 32 is only 2 away from 30 and uh, 12 away 12 away from 120 and by this I meant 2 away from 400, 8 away from 390. So here we can subtract 400 minus 130. That's minus 100, so you get 300. And then 300 minus 30 is 270. Let's check that. We have 300. And then minus 30. 270. That would be our answer. And if you were to be more simple, then 400 minus 100, the answer would come at 300. Moving on to problem three. Problem three. What is 701 minus 189? Same thing. You could do 190 or 200 to round, and you could do 700 either way to round and we're still going to go as uh, precise but let me do this first 700 minus 200 is 500 and 700 minus 190 is 600 and you have minus 90 you have yourself 510 and yeah that's that. Next question. Problem four. What is 71,398 minus 14,567? Estimate. It's gotten a lot harder. A bit more challenging. You have more levels here, but like, if you're doing big numbers, you don't want to be too precise, or like, you could just answer the thing. For numbers that are in the 10,000s, you usually estimate to the thousands, so it would be 71,000 and 15,000. I mean, there's two more layers that you could be more precise with and one more layer that you could be less precise with, but it's it's nice to be somewhat precise. And 71,000 
minus 15,000. Uh, throw away the zeros here because that only makes it more complicated. You can add them back later. 71 minus 15 would come at... Okay, no, you have to do 6 and that would be 5. And you have 11, so 56. 56 and then you add the triple zero. 56,000 would be your answer. So moving on to the final problem, we have 300 and nine million one hundred and ninety two thousand three hundred and twelve minus one hundred and ninety eight million two two hundred and eighty nine thousand three hundred and seventy eight so there's a lot of layers where you can be precise and we're estimating here so we don't really want it to take forever so we'll just keep it simple we'll do three hundred million and two hundred million and we'll just subtract that, cross this off again, because you don't want to make it harder on yourself. 3 minus 2, 1, and then you just add the million, the 100 million, sorry. Add the 100 million, and yeah, that's your answer. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell when you want to know if new videos drop. And share this to anyone that might find it useful.